guys might have seen this car recently, right? Our Striker 16 and 18 taillights was launched on Milo's Camaro. Well, as you can see, we took off the whole front end bumper. What is he up to? We just got the taillights installed from him and he's already back for a new mod. Well, right after the show, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he hit me up and he said, Mo, well, he was driving out of the show and he just messed up his bumper and hit a big dip, which is not really good at all. So it ended up tearing the, a lot of the bumper and thankfully it didn't affect the wide body kit as much, so which is good. So we're gonna add our entire conversion ZL1 bumper with our most expensive kit inserts that we offer in the market right now. He's going full on carbon fiber, low tie upper grill, canards, and the bezels as well. He's mixing and matching with us to make sure he gets the 1LE look with the ZL1 style. Let's show you some highlights right now, guys, and get started because I'm super excited. Let's get this guy all carboned out with Auto Addicts USA. Guys, this is it right here, right in front of me. One of my favorites. So you guys might be asking questions before I get into the carbon details. We are not painting or priming his bumper because he will be getting the car wrapped. So therefore he is not gonna spend the money on the paint right now because it doesn't make sense for him to spend the money on the paint and having to wait 50 days to wrap the car. His entire car is wrapped. So therefore we're gonna leave it the way that it comes from our manufacturer. Let's go ahead and get started on the inserts and show you why this kit is the most expensive kit that we offer on the market. Guys, let's dive into the most exciting details when it comes to getting on conversion bumper, whether you have a gen 5 10 to 15 or a gen 6 from 16 to 23. now for the upper flow tie grill we do offer it for the 10 to 15 and a 16 to 18 guys only auto addict is working on getting the 19 to 23 flow tie upper grill but not available yet so please be patient with us on that one the upper flow tie is consists of a gloss black mosaic carbon flash finish with the chrome outline chevy emblem logo to give the car that official aggressiveness and it's all about the details when it comes to the conversion of the bumper as we spoke about the upper flow tie this is my favorite when you guys get our carbon fiber lower grill grill 1LE style, you guys get the freebie of adding the hexagon mesh right behind it that we include for you guys that can protect your radiator from all the rock chips or any flies, bugs that can potentially get stuck without hitting your radiator. So that's the cool thing about the mesh that comes behind our carbon. Going downhill, you got the 1LE carbon fiber lower splitter. Please understand this is by far the hardest part to install. So definitely consider a professional shop that knows how to do it to get you guys protected. If you do this install by yourself, our warranty is kind of a little bit hard to work with you guys on that just because if you damage something Thing, it's gonna be upon your responsibility. And if you do it with a shop, they'll be able to have some sort of warranty to cover you guys to make sure you guys are protected. But the lip is one of my favorite because it's a one piece mold integration because our aftermarket ones, you do have to do three T-tap screws to attach it on the side of the lip. Well, when you get the carbon fiber, the best of the best, you get the best as well look by being it one piece molded all around from the other side. With that being said, you might have to modify a little bit when you install to make sure you take your time on this. As you can see right here, guys, the fitment is really good in the middle and we're gonna go ahead and work around this area where we're gonna potentially custom fit this splitter, which we always do to make sure we get our customer the best flush fitment guaranteed. It's not something that's ready to slap on or ready to go. It is carbon fiber, it's top of the top, so therefore it's gonna take some time to tweak and work with to get it the same way as this bumper right next. As you can see right over here, guys, all ready to go nice and flush. It does take some time, customization, and a professional shop to do it, but the look and the end results that we're gonna give this this look to Milo's car is definitely gonna be very eye-turning and head-turning product to look at when he goes to car shows. Okay guys, so as you guys see, I have the bumper sitting high face to face with you guys because this area right here hasn't been covered with Auto Addict yet. So let's go over this area and what this area is all about and how you can really customize it with Auto Addict when buying a ZL1 conversion bumper. So this is a Gen 6 and a ZL1 1LE conversion kit, full on 1LE track package, but with the touch of a ZL1 bezel and dive plane fog light. So we probably asking yourself, what is that all about? Can you explain and give us a little bit more information? This is exactly why we're making this video. So you guys, if you wish to make this purchase you need to contact us directly for that so we can hook you up with this mixed package that we offer combining the one le kit with the zl1 package as well all right guys so let's go over in the details so you guys get the bigger picture of exactly how to make this conversion happen and this is available for a carbon inserts kit and the non-carbon as well so you don't have to spend the top money right away if you're not ready to make the carbon fiber inserts which is really really good so the one le lower grill the one le track package lower lip is equipped on our bumper with the flow tie now we got a full-on track package zl1 one LE kit, right? With that being said, we're gonna make the bezel customizable a little bit with Auto Addicts because when you get our bumper molding, we purposely made 
need the fitment to fit both sets when you get our bumper. I cannot speak on other brands, but our bumper is able and capable to make this add-on. So with that being said, we're gonna add the ZL1 bezel. We're gonna add the fog light DRL and as well include the 1LE dive plane double-sided carbon fiber uh, kit. So this will offer uh, Milo the fog light DRL with the headlight to give it that aggressiveness because everybody loves to get the headlights and the fog lights with our conversion bumper, but we still keep the dive planes to give it that 1LE look style with the DRLs. It's a must have. A lot of our clients love this kit and I cannot wait to show you this look on Milo's car. So much details. I appreciate you guys' patience with me, but now let's go ahead and finish this project for Milo. I am super excited and I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am to make this happen for him. Without further ado, we got to get all the touches done and completed for him so we can show him the reveal. Thank you, Milo. See you guys soon. Done. The best of the last, my favorite pieces to the puzzle, which is the double-sided carbon fiber canards that we're gonna install on, the, on our front bumper conversion. Again, Milo went with the most expensive carbon conversion bumper that you can ever get on the market with Auto Addicts. We're the only company that offers this carbon fiber conversion in our ZL1 bumper. As you can see, he's equipped with the upper flow tie grill, which is a carbon flash mosaic finish, the carbon fiber lower grill with the mesh grill right behind it, and the 1LE carbon fiber with the extension splitter. All this was for him not to paint or at all whatsoever because he's interested in rewrapping the whole entire car so we're kind of giving it like somewhat of a terminator mean aggressive look of a two-tone i will go ahead and get started and install these bad boys on the bumper how to install these carbon fiber canals guys the easiest thing probably to do when you modify and upgrade your car you don't need to take off the bumper whatsoever all you have to do is pretty much line it up with the bezel and the bumper and go ahead and screw in your t-tap or your not and screw washer however you wish to do it's upon your preference and it comes with a double-sided tape right underneath it that we're going to attach to this products we are drilling guys set once you drill there's no going back just like the wide body kit guys just just looking at this makes me so happy because I don't know why, for some reason, I really love Milo's wide body kit. It gives it a really good aggressive appearance. By adding our bumper and this extra die plane with extra aerodynamic, look it to it with our carbon splitter and the extension. I don't know, just something about that angle just makes it super, super mean. And I'm super, super excited to have him look at it. He hasn't seen the can art yet. And the fact that we're able to add the DRL fog light ZL1 style, adding the 1LE all together makes it a great combination for a really aggressive look on the Camaro. All right, guys, the final completion look to Milo's full-on project that we did on his entire bumper. Taking out an old bumper that he had a while back ago and went and decided to go with Auto Addicts USA manufactured bumper with our carbon fiber inserts that we make, our ZL1 bezel with the fog light DRLs, the dive plane, the extension splitter, and the ZL1 1LE carbon fiber lip. And don't forget the last touch that makes this complete look of the bumper is the flow tie upper grille with the chrome outline bow tie. My favorite go-to to make the bumper more official for you guys when you driving on the road. This aggressive look with all the carbon and an auto gray contrast is super, super cool. And not to say even more, he's not even done yet because he also wants to wrap it, but just having this rock look right now, to rock and roll with it temporary before it gets to wrap. So honestly, dig into me a little bit. It's looking really more aggressive. I love the satin black with the carbon, the auto gray and the carbon in the front. I don't know, this thing is just becoming more and more aggressive. I think after we got the striker taillights on his car, he decided to get more parts with us. But even though he picked the right decision and I'm super happy to see the car what it's looking supposed to be and I don't know what the hell I'm saying so let's just cut it. 